Hello, hello. I'm starting the live a little early, just waiting for people to pop on. It's about two, three minutes early, so I'm just popping on here just to uh, get set up, make sure my camera is in the right uh, angle, and just waiting for people to come on. I think the lighting is a little off, so let me see. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, just wanted to turn my light on a little bit better here, and I'm gonna get this on my laptop so that I can see comments. When you pop on, say hello, so we know you're watching. We're so excited, it's gonna be so much fun tonight. Uh, just relaxing, and uh, so many of us are missing our, um, our events at church and, and just uh, getting together different for different occasions. So this is fun, so it's gonna be fun, and I'm excited. Um, so let's just, we'll wait and make sure other people pop on. We'll give it about maybe five minutes or so. And um, hi, Jill, how are you? Hi, Karen, hello. Hello, Kathy. Oh, I'm so glad you're all joining me. This is gonna be really fun. So let me check my um, my laptop. It's a little easier for me to see comments in, on the laptop. Um, Christine Goss is also in the comments and she will um, make sure that she um, she catches any comments that I might miss in case you have questions. Hi, Susan. Hi, Corey. Um, so we're just um, getting started here. We have about 35 people who are gonna be crafting with us and we have 30 right now, so that's pretty good. All right, see, let's see who I missed. So hello to um, Adila. I'm sorry, I hope I'm saying your name right. That's so pretty. Um, who else did I miss? Did I say hi to, yep, I said hi to everybody. Hi, Kathy, my aunt's watching. Um, okay, so we're just, I'm just checking, uh, checking to make sure we get more people on. Hi, Melissa. So nice that everybody's on, this is gonna be fun. So my name is Maria Yorkshire. I think we just have a couple of more people um, that have to pop on and then we'll get started. Oh, let's see, we're gonna invite Christine to say hello. So let's see if we can get Christine. Say hello. Well, it says it's adding. See, Christine's in the comments there. Now we're gonna try to get her on video and see how that works out. There she is, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're right, that's right. Okay. Christine's in the comments. Which way? That way, that way, that way. Am I upside down? No, you're good. You're good to us. We can see you right side up. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Okay. I'm going to turn off the sound on my computer. Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you. Okay. All right. So everybody, welcome. I'm glad you're all here with us tonight. I missed a little bit of Maria's introduction, but we're super excited to be doing this and, and giving this a, an attempt. I will be moderating from the comments. So if you have questions or want to ask anything, please ask away. And if you have any concerns and you can hear this but can't comment or can't see something, please send an email to my email address. I also do have my email open so I can respond right away to emails or things like that as you come in. Okay? Sounds good. Maria, anything else? Um, no, I think that's that's good for now. Well, I'll remember things as I go, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, sounds hey. good. I'm going to pop off the video and I will be in the comments. Yep, she'll still be here. But All right. Thank you, Christine. Okay, so I think, I don't know if I have to, okay, so she's out. All right, so she's out. All right, let me check and see if I missed anybody else coming on. Hi, Denise. Hi, Patty. Oh, I'm so happy to see everybody on here. Um, let me just see who else I might have missed. I don't want to miss anybody. Um, hi, Dee. Uh, let's see. Did I say hi to Mary Ellen? Hello, Mary Ellen. Um, I hope I didn't miss anybody. My mom's on here. Hi, mom. Um, okay, so Kathy, did I miss you? Hi, Kathy. I'm so sorry if I'm missing people. I want to make sure that I say hi to everybody. A Amy, hello, Amy Marie, saying hello to, trying to say hello to everybody. So I think we have most people on. We have 34 viewers, so I think we're good. Um, so 
this whole thing came about um, from Christine. She came up with the idea of crafting and cooking with the saints. Um, so I do have my own craft page that I kind of just do tutorials on or hi JP. Um, I do tutorials on and I do um, just just chatting and just um, inspiring hopefully. So that's I do have a page and I will post my page um, in case you all want to check in and chat and say hello sometime. But this is the Immaculate Conception page and we are talking about St. Thomas Aquinas tonight. And St. Thomas um, has this really beautiful, um, hi, hi dad, my dad's gonna do a crap too. Um, so St. Thomas has this um, quote that is, is going to be, um, oops, is the reason why we're doing this little crap today. And um, it's gonna be about faith. So let me read you his crap or his, uh, his quote. So the quote is, for those with faith, no evidence is necessary. For those without it, no evidence will suffice. So I just think that that is a beautiful quote from St. Thomas Aquinas. And today's his feast day. Um, so um, I'm gonna be reading periodically as we craft. I'm gonna be reading some 10 fun facts about St. Thomas Aquinas. So as we go along, I will be reading some facts about him. Um, okay, so let's start. The first thing I'm going to tell you is you do need some glue. Um, I have a hot glue gun, and if you're going to join us in the future too, if you have a hot glue gun, just plug it in, and um, it, it is the best thing to, um, hello, Mariella. So it is the best thing to um, use to really uh, adhere the ribbon or whatever we're gluing onto the surface. Um, but you certainly can use craft glue. Um, how many people that are watching right now do have glue? Do have hot glue, a hot glue gun? You just, I just want to kind of get an idea. Um, so just, just comment yes, and then I'll know that you do have a hot glue gun. Just because um, if you, if most of you are using just regular craft glue, which is fine. Um, I have some craft glue here that people, a lot of people use is this um, tacky glue. A lot of people use that, or you can use Elmer's glue but it will take a little longer to dry. So, okay, Patty, yay, D, okay, D does, Amy does. Um, okay, great, all right. Okay, Karen, yay. Okay, so that's great, great. So it looks like a lot of you do have a hot glue gun too. Um, so I'm gonna have you plug that in, go grab it and plug it in, because it will be easier to, um, to do. Like I said, the craft glue is fine too. I'm just, the people that don't have it will just, I'll do some fun facts about Thomas Aquinas while we're waiting for that glue to dry, but it's really not going to be a big deal. Okay, so I have a little craft kit just like you guys do. So we're going to take our craft kit. Mary Ellen, you do? Good, yay! Okay, Elmer's glue is fine, it really is fine. It's just going to take a little bit longer to dry, and but it'll be fine. If you are using the tacky glue or Elmer's glue or whatever you have, you might want to grab some tape. That's something I was thinking about. If you tape the, if you tape down the ribbon that we're going to be putting on the board, um, that might help just to so that the glue will adhere. But anyway, it's fine. Everything's fine. So we're going to start with our um, our board. So everybody got one of these. Um, just a board. It's just going to be our what we're going to put our our stuff on. Um, you are also going to find a little bit of Mod Podge in your, in your kit. The Mod Podge is going to be for the fake letters that we are, oops, that we're going to put on our board. Um, this, this is, I cut this out on my Cricut and it is vinyl and it is adhesive vinyl. So you will, um, it will stick, but the Mod Podge is going to let it help it stick a little better. So we're going to put that aside. We also gave you a little bit of um, brown paint. We're not going to paint the board. You also, in your kit, have a baby wipe. So, um, in fact, I have to grab a baby wipe for myself. Okay, so we're going to grab your baby wipe. Okay. All right. So, if your baby wipe, they, I did test it, and the baby wipes did stay pretty damp in the, um, Hi, 
Hi, Jane. Um, so the baby wipe did stay pretty damp in the little baggie. So hopefully yours is still a little damp. If it's not, just put in a little bit of water. Um, that's another thing you might want to go grab is just a little bit of water, just, just a little bit, and especially if you have to water down your paint, because we're not painting the board, we're really staining the board, okay? Um, so let's get started with that part. So take your little paint, and um, I would add a little bit of water to it if you can. If you can't, it's fine too. Um, so we take our paint. I have mine in a little bucket here. I'm just going to grab a little piece of paper. Ooh. All right, I'm just going to put a little um, piece of paper down on my surface just so I don't get paint everywhere because I make a big mess when I paint. Okay, so we're going to put down, I'm going to put a little paint on my paper. You guys have it in your little cup. Okay, you're going to take your baby wipe. And I'm going to add a little water to my paint because um, it's just a little thick. You don't want the paint to be thick. You want it to be pretty, pretty wet, like a, more like a stain. Okay. All right. And don't forget, say hello, comment. Um, just, just get your name in there in the comments because whoever, um, we're going to pick a random person and they're going to win the crap that I'm making. Um, they can either share it with someone else, give it away as a gift. So, um, yeah, so comment and we're going to pick a random person. So, okay, so let's go ahead um, while people are maybe getting some water or um, painting. I mean, staining, just take your baby wipe, dip it in your paint. The baby wipe is also going to act as water if you don't have it. So um, just go ahead and start staining your don't put a lot of paint on your baby wipe okay because you really were just staining this and also you can leave a natural wood if you want it doesn't have to be stained i just like it a little darker you like the natural wood you can just leave it like that honestly it's it's fine it's really when i do these craft tutorials i'm just showing you my my suggestions but you can totally make this your own but i really like the way it looks with a little bit of stain with the baby wipe you can use a paintbrush too, but I just like the way that the baby wipe looks because it just makes it more stained than that, and that painted. So if you can kind of see that, you can kind of see how pretty that is. Like the the natural wood is is kind of poking through. It's really pretty. Hi Elizabeth. I hope I'm not missing people to say hello to, but I do like to say hi when I do notice people popping on. So, um, yeah. So just say hello when you're on. All right, so I'm just gonna do both sides just because I like I like it to look finished. So just that's all I'm doing. I'm just rubbing the baby wipe down on the board, just like this. Okay. Um, the other um, sponge piece that we have in there, this one is not for the paint. This one is for the. I should have told you this before. This one is for the Mod Podge that we're going to seal the letters on the board with. Okay. Okay, so let's finish this up. And the good thing about this is staining it like this is, and it's, rather than painting it, is that it's not going to be too wet. So it's really going to dry really quickly. Um, so this is just a really cute, simple little craft, you know, with the first, um, with the first craft that we're doing. Uh, I just wanted to kind of make it more, more simple and and uh, and whatnot. So. That's what it's looking like. So I just love that because you really get the nice wood that pops through in the finish. Okay, so you have that. Okay, so we're just gonna let that dry for maybe a second. Maybe I will do my first. Oh, and I wanted to tell you something. This is a really good tip. So a lot of crafters will use um, a heat gun, it's called, um, to dry things. We really don't have to do that with this because it's, um, it's just very lightly stained and it's, it's going to dry pretty quickly. But I just use a hair dryer. That's what I put it on high and I just I would just dry my piece of wood or whatever um, surface that I'm painting on. And then you can get on with your craft quicker. So, okay. So I'm done with that part. Um, I'm just going to try to get some of this paint off my finger. I should use my gloves just because I don't want to get it on my ribbon or anything. Okay. So. I'm going to throw that away. So let's just let that dry for just a second. Um, okay. 
So that's just a little tip. That's a, a little crafter tip that we use. We can use paint. You can also use, if you have stain, real stain, um, you can use, you can certainly use stain. Um, I also have this Waverly. Um, it's, it, it's Waverly wax and this is in the color antique and it's so pretty. So um, you can buy this. I get a lot of my supplies at Dollar Tree in Glenville. It's, they have a lot of crafting supplies. So it's really economical. Dollar General has a lot of crafting supplies. They have a lot of cute little things. Um, so yeah, it's it's really um, it's really economical. And during all this COVID stuff, it has really taken my mind off a lot of things. And it's it's been really therapeutic for me to to do crafting. And I'm so happy to be sharing it with all of you. All right, so let's get to our first. While we're letting that dry, I'm going to do my first fun fact about Thomas Aquinas. St. Thomas Aquinas. So he was born and he grew up in a castle. Um, Thomas was from a well-to-do family, and I'm, I'm Italian, so I should know how to pronounce this, but I think it's Rossasecca, Italy? I really should know how to pronounce that if I am Italian. Um, and he had three brothers and five sisters. So that is our first little fun fact about him. So let's see, let's go on with our craft here. We, uh... Okay, so is everybody feeling that's pretty dry? Everybody done staining? How's it going? Hi, Janet. So what do we think? I think we can move on now. Everybody done staining? Like I said, it's just supposed to be a little bit of stain. Well, that's a good question. I have one. I have one brother. So what are we thinking? Everybody good to move on? Yep. Okay. The comments kind of come in a little slow. So um, sometimes we, we don't, I don't, I can't see them right away. So, okay. Karen's good. Melissa's good. Hello to Jen. I'm so happy to see mothers and daughters crafting. Like I said, my mom and dad are both doing a craft. Um, we have another husband and wife on here that are crafting with us. It's just so nice. And I miss I miss so many of my, my Immaculate Conception friends. So this feels like we're together. So I, I love this. Y'all good, Denise? Good. I'm so glad you're on here too, all of you. I'm so happy to be here doing this. Um, okay, so I guess we can start, go on to the next step. So also in your bag, uh, all right, so also in your bag, you have some ribbon, okay? So you have a long piece, and then you have a shorter piece, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to place the longer piece lengthwise on your board like this, okay? So you're going to have some overhang on the back. And that's where we're going to glue it. Okay, so this is where the glue is going to come in. So get your glue ready. Um, again, I have my glue gun. So I'm going to just place, I'm going to place a little glue. You can pick whichever side you like. Um, I kind of like this side because it's got a little bit more detail to it. I like that. Hi, Diana. Say hi to Mel, too. All right, so we're going to glue our wood. So just put a dab of glue on the top of your wood, okay? And you're gonna take your ribbon and put it right on your piece of glue like that. Oops. Okay. And let's see. Let me just see if it, okay. And then you're going to have another piece that's kind of long. We made it longer so that we could glue it. Oh, I got to glue. So you're going to glue your other piece to the other end of the board. And I burn myself all the time with my glue gun. <laughs> I'm always hurting myself. So this is another little cute thing that you can buy. Um, I get these little finger protectors at the do at Dollar Tree, and then I attach them. Um, these little. Um, foam brushes that, that I also get at Dollar Tree. They come with these little wooden um, holders or whatever you call them. So after they're no good anymore, because they don't last very long, um, I plop off the foam part and then I put my rubber finger on there so I can just use my rubber finger not to burn myself. So that's just a little tip. I just thought that was cute. All 
All right, so this is what it's gonna look like so far, okay? So you have it glued to the back, and um, it's that's what it looks like in the front. So kind of center it, I forgot to tell you that, just center that the best you can. Okay, so that's the part we're on right now. Okay, okay. So I'll give everybody a second to make sure their glue dries. Let's do another fun fact with Thomas Aquinas. All right, so number two, he had a lifelong fear of storms. Um, that's probably because when he was a toddler, his infant sister was killed by lightning when they were both taking a nap in the same room. Wow. Later in life, Thomas always carried a relic of St. Agnes and prayed to her for protection during storms. Wow, that's really interesting. Hmm. That's, that's terrible that his sister died. How sad. Okay, so how's everybody doing with the craft glue, with like the Elmer's glue or the tacky glue? It's, do you feel, does it feel secure right now yet? Let me hear from the people that, uh, that are using the craft glue. Yeah, I love this. I love these little finger protectors. I mean, they come, they come off. I glue it to the top of this. This one just came unglued and you put it on your finger. But it's just nice to have this little holder on it. And this, like I said, I glue it to there, to the top of this, but it doesn't come off. Is it mostly secure? Okay, thank you, Karen. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Okay. I know. You know what? The glue guns aren't really that pricey. Um, I got this one at Walmart. It's a Ad Tech. It's a two-temperature dual temp. Um, it's a really good one, and it really was not that expensive, and the glue sticks aren't that expensive either, so. Um, what did I miss about spiders? There's a spider near me. I tried to kill, oh my gosh, I don't like spiders, and I tried to kill one yesterday in my bathroom, which made me feel really bad, but um, <laughs> as I went to grab it, the light, night light knocked off in my bathroom, so it was dark as I grabbed it. I was freaking out. I do not like spiders either. Okay, so anyway. All right, so we got this part on, we got it glued on. The people with the tacky glue said it feels secure. We're gonna take our second ribbon, our burlap ribbon, and we are going to put it through kind of near the top. Oops, come to that one. You just want it to look like the, we're trying to make this look like a cross. So that's what we're doing. So kind of, you know, again, wherever you think it looks the best, I kind of like it towards the top. So you're just going to form a cross on the board, okay? All right, and again, we're gonna glue this to our board. So again, glue it anywhere that you're comfortable with. I, I kind of like it toward the top, because remember, we're gonna put the word faith on it. So you do wanna leave some room so that we can put our letters on the board. So you do kind of wanna do it up a, a little higher, okay? All right, okay, so let's do that. Let's glue our smaller piece of burlap ribbon to the back of the board like we did the first one. Ow, I burned myself. Of course I did. <laughs> All right, let me get my little finger out. Okay, and we're going to put that piece over the other, the other piece. Okay, I'm going to go glue that one onto here. Okay, grab my little finger here. Okay. Am I forgetting anything, Christine? I knew when I get on here I was going to forget. <laughs> I'll try to look at some of the comments. All right. So this is what this is looking like so far. Okay. And again, we're going to give it a minute to dry. Isn't that cute? So like this is just a really cute little faith reminder craft that we're doing tonight. Um, so I thought that was really cute. Okay, so let's um, let's get another Thomas St. Thomas Aquinas um, fun fact. Um, number three, when he was a boy, he was sent to study at the famous monastery of Monte Cassino. Cassino. Oh my goodness, I'm really messing up these Italian words that I shouldn't be messing up. Um, he stayed there through his teens and probably became a Benedictine oblate. Um, while while there, Thomas got to know the spiritual spiritual writings of St. John Cassian, which he treasured throughout his life. 
that's nice. These are really nice little, little facts about St. Thomas Aquinas. Um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get through the, all, all 10 of them before we go. So here we go. So this is what, like I said, this is what it's looking like so far. So hot glue gums are already probably pretty dry. And this sounds like the tacky glue will be pretty dry too. Thank you, Christine. I want to make sure I wasn't forgetting anything. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to the next step. I think we're good. You're going to take your longer jute string. This is called jute. It's string. It's called jute string. So it's your longer piece, okay? Because we put, gave you two pieces. And what you're going to do, this is the part where I was a little concerned about the glue being dry. So we're going to kind of scoot it behind the first ribbon. I'll show you in a second. Just like that. Okay, so I, I put it behind that longer ribbon. All right. And we're just going to tie it like we would tie a shoelace in a little, a little bow, a little um, tie, a little shoe. Like I, like I said, like you're tying a bow on a, on a shoe, on a sneaker. All right, so just I'll show you in a second what it's going to look like. Give it a good tug. You want it to be pretty tight. That's why I was a little concerned about the other glue, but it'll be fine. Um, okay, it's just like a shoelace. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. Just give it a pretty good tug so that it's it's tight. Okay. That's so pretty. All right, so I'll let everybody take a minute to do that. And um, again, this is what it looks like, just like a shoelace tie. Okay, and we'll do another fun fact. Okay, where were we? Number, number four. He ran away from home to follow his Dominican vocation. His family wouldn't have object objected to him staying at Monte Cassino. Casino, sorry, in view of becoming the abbot, but they just couldn't understand why Thomas wanted to become a Dominican. For them, it was a step down in the world since the Dominicans were uh, in a, <laughs> I can't read some of my own handwriting, internment preachers and went around begging. They tried to persuade him to drop the idea, but it didn't work. So that's that one. Maybe we should read one more. Um, number five, he was stubborn. When his, when his family found out that he had joined the Dominicans, a band of soldiers led by his brother, Ronaldo, captured Thomas and brought him back home. He spent about a year under a sort of house arrest while his family tried to persuade him to give up his dreams, but he did not. Hmm. It's very interesting. Okay, so here we are. Everybody done with the tie, I'm assuming. Okay, it's so just an easy little tie. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our faith letters. So like I said, all you're going to do is just peel them off. They peel right off. I did this on my Cricut machine for everybody. Um, we're just going to peel it off, and it is adhesive on the back, so it does stick. Um, you can put the faith wherever you like. Um, I'm probably going to put it over here on the left. If you want it on the right, that's fine. You can put it on the right. Um, but we're just going to um, put it on, on the board. Okay, so we're going to start with the F. So just go ahead and put your faith letters on there. We're not going to worry about the Mod Podge yet because these do stick. We just, we're just going to use the Mod Podge to secure them, just to seal them on, just so that they don't fall off. Oh, take your time. I hope I please love you. Please let me know if I'm going too fast, too. Um, yeah, I know if you're sharing your glue gun or you're sharing uh, some other supplies, it can, be, uh, it can be hard. But, yeah, let me know if I'm going too fast, and I will definitely slow down. But, um, so you can put your faith on any way you like. You can make them very straight. You can make them a little wavy, however you want to do it. All right, so we'll just continue putting all the letters on. And if you, you know, you mess up and it doesn't fit, you can, they come right off. So you can just kind of readjust them with your fingers. 
I just kind of pull them off with my fingernail and you can readjust it if you need to. So I did put mine a little too low. Okay. All right. So I started mine a little too low, so I'm just peeling them off with my finger and just putting them up a little bit higher. Oops. Okay. Okay. T. Oops. And when I craft, I'm totally not about being perfect because none of us, well, I'm not perfect, that's for sure. And uh, so I just kind of do it at my own pace and my own, how I feel it looks the best. So this isn't straight, but I kind of like the way that that looks. It's just a little off, but I think it's pretty. So there you go. So that's that. So while everybody's getting their letters on, I'll read a couple more fun facts about see what's going on with St. Thomas Aquinas now. All right, so number six, he was called the dumb ox. This is often misunderstood. It didn't mean that other students thought he was unintelligent. They called him that because he was actually very, very smart, very, very quiet. He was very, very smart, but he was very quiet and he didn't talk much. But the readings that I did about St. Thomas Aquinas, he was a very, very intelligent uh, man and student. Um, okay, so let's go on to number seven. Um, he had terrible handwriting. It was so bad that in Latin, the Latera, oh, what are these words that I put? I should have practiced these words before this. Sorry. The Latera Intelligibilis. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but and I can't pronounce it. Sorry. So if anyone has ever criticized your handwriting, take heart. You're just like Aquinas. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm left-handed, so sometimes my handwriting is not the best either. But All right. So how is everybody doing on their letters? Yes, like my like my page, Sunny Shire Crafts. Um, it's named Sunny Shire for my last name. My name is Maria Yorkshire, and also um, Sunny Shire is the name I kind of gave our house when we bought it like twenty years ago. Um, so it's just a cute, it's just a fun little craft page. I'm not selling anything. I'm just doing tutorials like this and chatting. That's all we do. Okay, so how's everybody doing on their letters? We Take it too, am I going too fast? Should I? Okay, good, Amy, Jill, Mary. Okay, so the last couple steps. So what we'll do, you can take your um, Mod Podge. All right, and I'm just going to pour a little out. You guys have Mod Podge. It's the white, um, it looks like glue. It looks like Amish glue. It's the white stuff in the little container that we gave you. And we are going to use this brush. This is the uh, foam brush, okay? Oh, it's your first craft, how fun! Yeah, I really enjoyed that doing my crafts. Like I said, it gives me a lot of um, comfort. Just takes your mind off of everything. All right, so we're doing good, Mary Ellen. Yay, okay. So I just put a little tiny bit on my foam brush, okay? You don't need a lot. And all we're gonna really do is just lightly go over the letters. Now it's going to be white on your, on your letters. You're going to see it white, but it dries clear. So don't worry about that. So I'm just going to move my little bow out of the way and we're just going to lightly put some Mod Podge over our letters. That's just going to secure them in there a little better. So it's going to help them to stay a little bit better. Okay. So again, it makes it look a little white, but I promise it does dry clear. Okay. So that's that part. Okay. It's cute. I love this. So cute. All right. So while you guys are mod podging, let's finish up our fun facts about St. Thomas Aquinas. All right. So where were we? We were on number eight. He could dictate to two or three secretaries at once. Wow. His handwriting didn't matter because he usually dictated to his secretaries. 
Although it may seem incredible, it's well documented, documented that Thomas could dictate to a few of them at one time. He could think a lot faster than, than they could write. Oh, that's interesting. All right, we'll finish this up now. So number nine, he never criticized people. He only critiqued ideas. The closest he ever came to criticizing someone in his, in his writings was when he called an opinion of a certain David, these words tonight, did not denant. <laughs> I really should have practiced this. I have no idea what this word is. Stutisimus, which loosely translated means, wow, what a stupid idea. Okay, so that must be what that word means that I've never heard of. Um, but it was the idea he was criticizing and not David. That's really funny. <laughs> And then our last fun fact is he was extremely humble and submitted all his work to be to the judgment of the church. Um, at the point of his death, he said, I have taught and rich, written much according to my faith in Jesus Christ and the Holy Roman Church, to whose judgment I submit all my teachings. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas, pray for us. So I think that's kind of cool. I really like those, except for some of those words that I couldn't pronounce. I apologize. Um, so those are all the fun facts about St. Thomas. He was a, a really wonderful scholar and writer. He was a doctor of the church, one of the few doctors of the church. Um, he was a, a very big saint. He's a patron saint of, I that somewhere here too. I believe he is the patron saint of, uh, Catholic universities. Let's see, where do I see that? Oh, shoot. I had that somewhere. I believe it's Catholic universities. I, I wrote it. I had it somewhere, but I don't see it offhand here. Um, and, and, you know, and scholars and, um, hmm. I can't find it now. But, uh, yeah, so that's that about St. Thomas. It's really neat. So as you can see, that dry clear. Did everybody's dry clear? So that's really pretty. So that is that. The last thing that I have here, I just put a couple of embellishments in your little kit for you. You can use it. You don't have to use it. Whatever you want to do. This is your craft. Um, I'm So I gave you a little heart right here. And a little button. Everybody's button's a little different. And some of the um, some of the stuff is a, is tiny, a little bit different. I don't think anybody would notice. Maybe some of the ribbons a little different, but um, they're all very, very similar. Patriot saying of educational and theological pursuits. Oh, thank you so much, Mary. I can't. I don't know what I did with that paper I had it written on. Dude, it was great intel. Yeah, he was very intelligent. I read. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Um, okay, so. The last thing I said is we're going to glue, you can glue these on. You don't have to glue these on. Um, I think, I think I'm going to put my heart right in the middle of my bow because I just, that reminds me of Jesus and maybe his sacred heart. That's just what I want to do. So that's, that's where I'm going to put mine. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it over here on the side, on this side, the bottom, wherever you want. I'm going to glue mine right in the middle of the, the bow that we made. That's where I'm going to put my heart, right in the middle. Like I said, you can use it. You don't have to use it. You can put it wherever you want. Um, let's see. I'll just check something here quick. Yes, yes. And we, we have another, another step to go to. All right, so you have one more piece of jute. And that is going to be your little hanger, okay? So we're going to glue it on the back. We're going to put it in a little loop like this. Patron saint of students. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate that. This is what I love about doing this. We can just talk to each other. Even though I can't hear you or see you, I feel like I'm, I'm crafting with you and that we're all together. Um, so, okay. So the smaller piece of you. Okay. We're going to just put it in a little loop and glue it right to the back of our of our board so that you can hang it on your wall. If you don't want to use the jute, you don't have to. You can just, you know, lean it up against something. Um, not my glue gun, but <laughs> you can just lean it up against something like that. 
Um, I'm going to use it to hang. I'm going to put a little, my, I, mean, I am going to put the hanger on it. So again, you're just going to take a little dollop of blue right at the top in the back. And you are going to just glue that right to the back. Okay. Okay. So that's what that looks like. So you, you can hang it on the wall. So that's really, really cute. Okay, so the last embellishment I gave you all, we gave you all, was a little button. Just for another little decoration on there again. You don't have to use it. I think I'm going to put the little button here in the corner just for a little decoration. So we're going to glue that on. That's so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually, yeah, I think I'm going to put mine in the corner here. It's just another little decoration. You don't have to do it. You don't have to use it. Um, so that's that. It's all done. Isn't that adorable? It's just a little simple craft, but it's a really adorable little faith reminder. Um, you know, faith is sometimes something that a lot of us can struggle with at times uh, more than other times. So it's just nice to take a little look at this and remember, remember our faith. Remember that God is always in control, which is something that I have a lot of trouble with, but I always know that he's in control and he is good all the time. So that's it. That's our little craft. So I would love, love, love it if you could all post a picture of your craft on our craft page. I'm sorry, not my craft page. On our Immaculate Conception page, I'm going to post something tomorrow that, um, you know, just recaps what we did. And um, hopefully you guys can post a picture. I would love to see your crafts and how you, what you guys did. Um, I just think that that would be so it would be so fun for me to see what how you guys did it. So I'm really, really so happy that we did all this. It's been so fun. So I have some other things to tell you before I go, um, before we go. Um, so this is called, this whole series is called Cooking and Crafting with the Saints. So the next tutorial that we're going to do is a cooking tutorial. And um, I'm going to have Christine type in there the name of the dish we're making, because again, I'm going to mess up the name. But it is Thursday, February 25th at 7 p.m. And you have to sign up by uh, the, the 18th, okay? Because I believe you're gonna, Christina will give you more information, but I believe you guys have to sign up for, you have to sign up, but you'll get like a list of ingredients and things like that. So um, the, the dish is gonna be called, it's based on um, three Middle Eastern saints. So it's, again, it's, it's, it's based on one of the saints and it is called Z Zayatar Chicken over Israeli couscous with savory naan. Oh, I love naan. That sounds really good. And that is going to be done by Susie Tremblay. Um, she's uh, a, per a parishioner at our church that's really active too. So um, it, that's going to be really fun too. So I hope you guys will all join her too. And uh, we're going to have another craft tutorial like this on March 25th. And then in April, um, another cooking tutorial on April 29th. So I hope you guys really, really can join us again. This has been so much fun. I love doing this. I, like I said, I feel like I've been here with all of you. Uh, but yeah, that cooking tutorial is going to be really fun too. And uh, so each one, we're going to take turns. We're going to do a cooking and then a craft and then a cooking and then a craft. And hopefully this catches on and we get more people to watch and, and then, you know, just have fun and enjoy with us. I think that's everything. Can you think of anything else, Christine? Yes, so you 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 cook during the tutorial, Karen. Yep, that's sorry. That's what yeah. That's just like we're crafting. The object of that is that you can also cook along with Susie. So I think that's it. Anything else? Okay. So yeah, Christine's got a little um, comment in there, giving you a little bit more information, and she's got the link to our website, the Immaculate Conception website, because um um. Yeah, so that's got a lot of information there for you. So it was so nice to be with all of you. I hope you all had fun. And I hope you uh, you um, look at your little faith reminder and it makes you feel happy and joyful. Um, Christine is going to pick a name at random and you guys will win this, my craft, the one that I did. So um, you can look for that. I don't know, are we going to do that right now or are you going to do that after? 
Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all your, your nice comments. Oh, I'm so glad Sierra had fun too. I, like I said, I love that there's um, people that are, have, we're crafting together and husbands and wives and family members together. That makes me so happy. That's really nice. Thank you, Karen. All right, so we will announce the winner of my craft tomorrow. Like I said, you made your own, but you can keep it or you can give it away as a gift, um, make somebody else happy and smile. And so, okay. Well, it's so nice to be with you all. And thank you again for joining us. And I hope you join um, us in February 25th for the cooking and then again in March um, for my other craft. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night and God bless you all. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.